Hi everybody, it's Nash. So, um, if you couldn't tell by the video, I will be doing the back, I will be explaining the backstories of the, well, Strazuki. I know, bad name. It's, yeah. I'm just really bad at mixing up names, I guess. So, let's get, st before we get started, um, I actually took the time to take the advice of a commenter named Mako. Man, I forgot his name. I'm going to be posting a link to his channel, so please check, check that out. So, yeah. Before we begin, I will note that these Kizuki, the last group, these Kizuki, these demons, will actually travel together. Uh, they're like, uh, like the actual Straw Hats do, so they will be much more dangerous. So, Lower Moon 6, Carrot. Um, she, when she was a human, she was fathered by a demon slayer heir. And as you can tell by the ears she always wore, she loved rabbits. It's as why she would always wear them. One night, her father, Pedro, oh, oh, died by aiding a demon while care protecting Carrot, and she could only watch the demon who killed the demon slayer, felt genuine pity and sorrow for her, turned her into a demon, and yeah. She joined his crew. She will, though she currently hates him, she will eventually grow to like him and call him captain. Up next, Lower Moon 5. Nami. Yeah, she doesn't have a last name. Oh, yeah, also, uh, in case you can't tell, uh, I started cutting in the pa pieces of paper out once I print them and turning them into cards, making it somewhat easier to give a sense of su suspense so it's not completely obvious who's up next so um yeah that's nice i guess um yeah her backstory is that she was the nav the well not navigator per se but the weather shaman as accented by her tribal gear and staff they actually overworked her, her until she was met with a certain demon. He saw how they were treating her, killed them all, and turned her into a demon. And now she follows him. Simple, simple. Up next, Lower Moon 4, Usopp. This guy, I should get a paper clip, that's what I should do. Um, yeah. His backstory is that he would spend his days collecting insects and then selling them. It was a pretty generic life until somebody accused him of lying and they pretty much ru ruined his life. They broke his nose, they took everything in his shop and left him to die. That is until the until a certain demon met him and offered to turn him into a demon. They then took revenge on these people. So, justice. Yeah. Up next, Lower Moon 3. I should get a paper clip. Tony Tony Chopper. Well, his name's Chopper. Um, yeah. His backstory is that due to who, who a disease, he had a blue nose and was very hard for him to shave. And whenever he shaved, he would end up growing the growing the hair back so that he looked like um yeah like a well this except less monstrous. It wasn't until he he was met by a kind doctor or he, that he actually knew human love. Um, one day, he, that doctor was killed after accepting a false request and again left 
Shockbird would die in sorrow until a certain demon came and turned him into a demon and they, rec after recognizing his rage and heart, he was turned into a demon and yeah. I should rec I should say state that his fur was not this thick and complete before. You could still see, you could still tell he was human. He just didn't look all that human before he was a demon. Up next, Lower Moon 2. Frankie. His backstory is that he was, okay, you know what, screw it. I'm not keeping them together anymore. I'm just gonna There. This is easier. Okay. Is that he, he worked at an iron factory, which was, yeah, which had a pretty good life for him. He had built up a noticeable reputation, and many people have referred to him as the big brother of their group. However, a local gang soon ran up on them and took control. Frankie tried to fight them, but they pretty much just beat him up with the metal bats and such. Cursing his own weakness, he le was left there to die until he was approached by a certain demon. Oh yeah, I should clarify that all that practically all of these stories were were in that they were left to die. Well, not all of them, as you've seen with Nami and Carrot, but um, yeah, pretty much most of them. Um, so yeah, he was turned into a demon, and they took revenge. Up next. Now this is one of the more complicated ones. Since a demon regenerates all his skin, usually they would... Usually they have skin and flesh and organs. But, um, yeah. This is Lower Moon 1, Brook. Um, he used to be a demon slayer, as you can tell by the sword, Lord, but he was also a musician. He was assigned with, with taking out a demon in a nearby town, but he was swiftly and fully defeated. The demon had burned away pretty much all his flesh and bones, leaving only his Hair. Pretty much everything else was burnt. It was actually a miracle. He was still breathing and functioning. Only his brain was left intact, but the humans can actually go, well, I think less than 10 seconds. What saved his, what was it? What his saving grace was, was that the demon had heard him playing earlier and wanted to hear it again, so he turned him into a de demon. Sadly, though, his flesh wasn't able to be regenerated, and so, oh, after injecting the demon blood into his brain through the eye holes, the brain sort of, like, grew another eye? It's complicated. It's also what kept his hair, it's also what currently keeps his hair intact. So, and it also grew the horns, so that was fun. Now Brook travels with the de demon. And, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, up now we're getting into the upper red demon. So, the very first in tragedy. L upper upper moon six, Nico Robin. Also, if you notice this here, this is Rizzo art. It was kind of on the picture, and I couldn't really bring myself to just like just cut it off. So sorry if that's bothering anyone. She was, she belonged to a village of archaeologists and when, and they were actually also studying crimes in neighboring villages because due to their curious nature, they had noticed some inconsistencies with banks, murders, and stuff like that. So multiple crimes I remember crews and crime families came together, beat them up, and then burnt their city down. Robin, as an adult, was the last one to survive, with with her hands being merely 
being practically burnt as with severe burns on her back. She was met. It was then she, after running away, she he had she was on death's door due to not being able to risk going to a hospital. So she was approached and she was approached by a demon. He turned her into one. He turned her into one of them, and together other they wreaked havoc on the pe on those that had destroyed their family her family and because she had remembered them all with such clear accuracy because um yeah she because even before she was a very studious this person not being able to forget something easily but that and she could never forget the faces of those who destroyed her village and her close family and friends All right, up next, Upper Moon 5, Jinbei. Before this, he was a sumo wrestler. Despite his large body structure, he was able to find happiness and family. However, his brother was killed fighting crime, and after vowing to avenge him, he was met with the killer, but the killer had brought back up, and so after Lee, after nailing him down, they slit open his belly. Yep. They slit open his belly. Lee. And yada yada yada, left to die. He was then turned into a demon, met with a demon, and was turned into one. As pain, as gra he then took took revenge on those that had killed his brother, Tiger, Fisher Tiger, and pledged allegiance to the demon that had turned him. All right, up next, Upper Moon for Yamato. Okay, um, before we get into this, I am gonna catch up for this, but, um, in the anime, Yamato refers to to himself as he, so I shall do the same. I sincerely hope that is not a problem for anyone, and I also sincerely hope I am not offending anyone. Uh, if I am, I hope we can settle this discussion civilly, like proper people who are never going to meet in person and probably never will. <laughs> yeah. Before this, he worked under his father as a, a well, like, a, what is the word? Uh, enforcer. He did all types of jobs his father needed him to do. Uh, whether it was collect money, take people out, threaten people, or blow up buildings. It was a pretty solid gig until his father er had so had finally caught up and well essentially the cops were catching on and his father needed a scapegoat so he left Yamato to take all the blame <laughs> yeah fun Yamato was then and locked in jail chained to a wall and was faced with never being able to see the light of day again. And, and after one night, he never would, since he was appro approached by a demon who offered to help get his revenge in exchange for, you know, loyalty. He, he took a, up the man, he took up the, him up on his offer, killed his fa father, and yeah. Now he rolls with them. Okay, getting to the upper three now. This is gonna be fun. Upper Moon Three. Sanji Vin Vin Smoke Sanji. I oh my god. I don't want to insult anyone, but it gets kinda of confusing, so I'm just gonna say Sanji. Is that cool? Sanji? Yeah. Before this, he was an orphan who had stowed away on a ship. However, that ship would soon be, well, well, 
uh, and caught in a storm. But before that, he would be found out and brought to face the captain of the ship. The captain saw he would is near d near death from starvation and let him live. However, just as that happened, he was well. The storm happened, so that was fun. Only he and the captain were able to survive, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't much of a survival. He had stowed away on the ship because he had smelled such gorgeous food coming from it, and he was very hungry. And even after that, he had only been able to eat the bare minimum, so uh, yeah, you tell him not to eat. They stayed there for days, hoping someone would come, but eventually they ran out of food. And the old man was on death's door, and Sanji had come to see him as a father-ish figure, so he begged for help. And he was met by, the de by a demon, who offered to help in exchange for his loyalty. So after turning Sanji into a demon, he, Sanji carried the old man to safety, and left him to be helped by the people, because he knew that he and him lived in different worlds now. And so they heartbreakingly said goodbye. Oh, I should clarify, he still doesn't hit women. So, yeah. Alright, up next. Upper Moon 2. Roronor Zoro. That's great. Zoro. Um, he was actually a demon slayer. And the wind. Oh, he was the wind Hashira before this. Okay? Yeah. Until he was framed for a crime he didn't commit. During this time, the demon and slayers were preoccupied so they couldn't come help him. So he was essentially crucified and had a, had a scar on his stomach and was stabbed in the mouth. Right here and here. And left to die on the cru crucible. Oh. However, however, during the night, a demon came, and recognizing his potential and offering him a deal, turned him into a demon. So, yeah. <laughs> Fun. Alright. And I've been talking about him this whole time, but it's time we meet the man of the moment. Upper Moon One. Luffy. Before this, he was the son Hashira. However, after watching his brother receive the fatal wound, and, and he knew that he could in risk fighting while he still needed help, he drank the blood of the demon that had given him the wound, and carried, killed the demon, and then carried him to safety. Yeah. After her words, he still felt lonely, because, you know, I mean, who wouldn't be? because he and his brother now lived in different worlds. So he wandered for days until he saw a group of kids playing together and heard them say, it's always fun when you're playing with other people. They didn't know it, but this would give Luffy the idea to find people strong, who were strong, yet still, like him, alone. So he sought them out, made a crew, and now they roll together as the twelve uh, Razuki, the most feared demon band in all the world. And the only one. Okay, so that was my video. I'm premiering it, so I'm only going to do that with lengthy videos that are at least 20 minutes. So I hope this was worth the premiere. And I also hope you guys liked the backstories I made. I know they're kind of generic, but uh, I'm not as good as writing backstories as Demon Slayer is. <laughs> Alright. Bye.